I was looking for a place to live and I got scammed and I lost a lot of money. Every year when I meet international students, this is usually what I hear. I don't want you to be scammed. I don't want you to lose money. So in today's video, I will show you five things that scammers do to steal your money. I will also show you five things that you can do to prevent being scammed. Number one, scammers will create fake rental listings. They will steal addresses and photos from real rental listings and use it to create fake ones. Look at this rental listing that I found in a Facebook housing group. It's a studio for rent in San Francisco near UCSF. Look at the pictures. The studio looks really nice and really modern. So I googled the address that was provided in the rental listing and I found different pictures online. Notice that these pictures don't look anything like the pictures in the Facebook rental listing. The scammer created a fake rental listing using fake pictures. So the lesson is always Google the address and see what you find. If what you see in your online search does not match what you see in the rental listing, then it's usually a scam. Number two, scammers post rental listings with cheap rent. If a rental has everything like a washer and dryer, a car parking space and is in a really good neighborhood and also has really cheap low rent and it seems too good to be true, then it's most likely a scam. Scammers know that renting a place to live in San Francisco is very expensive. They make the rent really cheap, really low to attract people to the rental listing. Let's look at the rental listing for the studio again. Right when I saw it, I knew it was a scam. And other people on Facebook also confirmed that the rental listing was a scam. It was a fake. The price was $1,600 per month. It was 430 square feet. There's a washer and a dryer in the unit and there's a parking space. The unit looks amazing. It looks brand new and modern and the location is an inner sunset near UCSF. It's too good to be true to rent a studio for that price. That's too cheap. And how do I know this? Well, according to Zumper.com, a housing rental website, the median rent for a studio in the inner sunset Sunset is $2,300. So this rental listing is offering a studio apartment for $1,600. That's about a $700 difference. So the lesson is always check what the costs of other studios are in the neighborhood and compare. Number three, scammers will say that you cannot see the rental in person or through a video chat. They will usually say that they live in another state or country and can only show you pictures of the place. They can't show you the rental in person or through video chat. Some scammers are using COVID-19 as the reason why they can't meet with you in person. You can always ask them to show you the place through video chat, but if they refuse, they are most likely trying to scam you. Number four, scammers want you to pay a deposit before seeing the rental or signing the lease. They will say that many people are interested in the rental and pressure you to pay the deposit. Just remember, never pay a deposit before you see the rental or before you sign the lease. Number five, or scammers want you to pay the rent or the deposit by wiring money to them. Wiring money is the same as sending cash. And once you send the cash, you have no way to get it back. Usually scammers will ask you to wire the rent money to Western Union, MoneyGram, or to a bank account. Never wire money to someone you have never met before. So here's a summary of the five things that you can do to prevent being scammed. Well, thanks for watching this video and I hope it helps you to avoid being scammed when you're looking for a place to rent in the city. And if you like what you see in this video, please subscribe to my channel to get up to date information about my latest videos. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.